Hey guys and welcome to my channel. We are going to do something different, to take a break. I was wondering what I could make my video about and I decided to make a controversial video about 911 from Lady Gaga. Just quick. If you are new, then welcome and make sure uh, that you hit the subscribe button and uh, ring the black bell. And uh, whether you are new or not, don't forget to quick click the like button. To maybe make some suggestions of what to make uh, the next video about. I would really appreciate it. So what I'm going to talk about is a video called 911. And let me first tell you that I love, love that video, that I love that performance and that I very much uh, like the song. What I am going to criticize, however, is uh, the video as a whole. I will just do it quickly. Now, what I am going to criticize about the vid video is not the first part, because I really loved that first part. What I didn't like as much, however, is the second part, because it reminds me of something I watch lately on many videos. And that is, is that it, for me it's a representation, a sign that the artistic freedom is disappearing somewhere and I have the feeling that it gets worse and worse. Now let me tell you my observation and that is that the artist uh, like uh, have always um, the artists have always to have uh, in mind their audience and for this reason it's nearly impossible for them in order to uh, have this audience to not listen to their complaints and not listen to what they like and not uh, reflect what they uh, loved or liked in other artists. It's the same thing as when you learn methods of doing something and then you copy it and maybe you make some slight changes over uh, the tries and uh, fails during your experience and with consideration of all of the information you have but i personally can't get uh, rid of the feeling that if the last video from lady gaga showed me only the first part of the video or if the creator shortened the last part, I would much more like the video and the result thing. And now what I don't like about uh, the last part or about the video as a whole is that they showed me where the inspiration came from. And they showed me this in uh, detail and they showed me this explicitly and they prolonged this last exposition to for me the extent that was unnecessary. Now I say that even though I did realize at the first watch how funny and witty and clever the, uh, the twist and the connections were and I did admire how much work they put into connecting all of those details uh, to the dream state or the coma state or the unconscious state. But still, for me, this represents uh, the loss of freedom of, of the art. It is for me as if the creators had in mind that in order to make the audience happy, they have to psychoanalyze and overanalyze every single thing, every single step uh, that the artists draw their inspiration from. They butcher it and they show it in disgusting details as if it were no longer allowed for people to not know where their inspiration comes from or if they don't know they have to put some meaning behind it they have to use a psychoanalysis or analysis to to show the connections to reality or to show that everybody can connect to it but i i have the feeling that in the past they just didn't show the path to that but now we have to show everything in order the audience to be content and to know what we are talking about and in order to 
for the audience to know what we are talking about. And yeah, I blame our over-informized society for that to get us to this state, but admittedly, it might have nothing to do with our society, it might have much more to do with people who brought this, not even to day-to-day -to -day life, or to study life, or to every aspect of life, but as well to the art, to make them happy, and to make me <laughs> obviously unhappy. So, well, yes, that is the first complaint that I see and I perceive this as enormous pressure to make something, to make everything in even art, where even the subconscious things work, uh, to make it related to day-to-day -day life and to make it like seem more realistic and to pretend that we know where everything comes from and why is that that is happening because sometimes we just don't know sometimes we are in the state that we cannot butcher this and like show and explain why even though i admit that knowing how to explain things is quite useful tool at least between people and their communication i get that all right, first thing we are done, then the second thing I am complaining about this video is, as I already stated, the second part of this video, again, I said it, I will repeat it, I don't like how the creators wrapped into my nose, into my face, the connections. I would have nothing against the last part if it standed on its own, if it if a video was created just for this part and if the second part was like less made like a film to dramatize things and less made as a, a, as if it was a video that anybody can like film sans some quality of the film, etc. That would be fine, I wouldn't have anything against that. But uh, I just protest gluing the first and the second part together, that is one thing, one complaint. I would maybe be more like excited to have the same song with two videos and maybe some links to that to, for people to... She would even have like more money or more chances to get more attention, even more than she already has. But I think it would be a more clever solution. The videos could be like released separated in, in separated dates. So it would be all fine and everything. But if they put those things, those two things together, my complaint would be that they already decided that they have to make it one video, that they have to put the two parts together and show us where her inspiration or their inspiration came from for the visual part of this one thing that came out. You know, I don't have to see all the smugness and all the cleverness of uh, the whole structure. So to sum it up or to wrap this, this idea into, into something, yes, I would make it much more artistic and uh, much less realistic. I wouldn't uh, give the clues to the audience. I wouldn't make them easier. Just because I think that the realistic part, they to enjoy that, that thing, you can just, you know, turn on your computers or televisions and watch news on TV or on computer. For me, even the first part was much better. Uh, the second, the real part, the much more anchored in reality part, for me it was more worked through. So if I ever managed to film something like that, I would not serve the answer to the audience on a silver plate, because I just don't see it necessary to do that. So that is all of my ramblings. I am sorry, I just it just needed out, but as I said, I admire Lady Gaga as an artist and I am hoping she will make such videos 
<laughs> I'm hoping she will make such a videos in the future and I'm looking forward to that and I hope that for those of you who maybe could relate to the situation that was presented in the video but is not like blinded fan of her or of her work uh, that it work 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 that it was like useful for you because for me sometimes when it's about an artist that is not like close to my heart or not even artist uh, if it is a video about anything actually um, then it, for me it is helpful to uh, see some comments or see some reactions see some criticism it it helps me to see things through different like maybe options of how to see things it helps me to concentrate or better and to uh, analyze things better than without those so i hope that it will be hopefully it will be useful for somebody and hopefully some of you will even uh, enjoy it so if you are one of those please once again, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to click the black bell and the like button. I will appreciate it and especially my channel will appreciate it. For now, bye guys!